all glory, all praises be unto Yahweh, Baruch Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baruch Hashem, Baruch Kodash. Double honors to the Apostle, elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing this work, and all truth and sincerity. Shalom Akim. Now, um, the scripture here is just, or Slakia, this um, epistle is just going into, uh, you know, um, we we are we are we are the true judges of this earth, okay? We are the true judges, you know, slash rulers, slash kings, you know, starting with Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, King David, the one forty four, you know, and the rest of Israel and so forth, right? There that that's that's gonna be the true um leadership there of the world. Okay? Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai, King David, the the elect, the one forty four, and the rest of Israel. Okay, and we go and go into these scriptures to show you, um, you know, this is why the Lord is uh, chastening us, chastening us in the way that He has. Okay, because it is for Israel to know judgment. Okay, is it not for you? To know uh, judgment, okay. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me see if I get that in that scripture. Let's see if that's in Micah. No, uh, Micah chapter three. Is Micah chapter three? Oh, uh, you should bring all my bring nations. <laughs> Anyways, um. Yo, Mike, Micah chapter 3 and 1. And I said, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob, and ye princes of the hosts of Israel. Is it not for you to know judgment? Okay. So we're the ones set up to know that judgment. Okay. We're the ones set up to know the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. He only gave that to. You know his people, okay. But let me go back to the scripture real quick. Yep. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of Yahweh shall be established in the top of the mountain and shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow onto it, and many nations shall come and say come let us go up to the mount of the Lord and to the house of God and to the house of God of Jacob and he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his paths for the law shall go forth out of Salakia, go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem and he shall judge among many people and rebuke and rebuke strong nations afar off and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks nation shall not lift up a sword against nation neither shall they learn war anymore okay so you can see this is going into when the kingdom kingdom is established okay we're going to be the, the that beacon you know that light of the of the world okay but anyways we're going to be judging what these are the nations these uh different uh nations okay we're going to have them under our foot okay following by our law such as the commandments Okay, there, there will be no other way. All right, and it, for the most part, it tells you that these nations are gonna beat their swords into uh, plowshares, meaning that they're not gonna, you know, they're gonna um, all those things are gonna be melted down, turned into agricultural tools. Okay, meaning that those nations will not, they they're not gonna be they're not gonna be operating in war. They're gonna be operating in farming the land and tilling the land and doing how and what we say you know 
doing what we say and how we say to do it okay so going into uh furthermore what i was saying psalms 147 19 oh come on man what's wrong with this thing psalms 147 and 19 he showeth his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgments unto israel he have not dealt so with any nation as and as for his judgments they have not known them praise the hour so israel is the one that only knows these things okay that's why we were set up in the position okay to obtain these things take the things in you know do these law such the commandments and then you can rule right, all right? When you're when you're doing those, uh, when you're keeping the law, statutes, commandments, then you can rule, because you you would have that prudency, okay? Through the scriptures, through the word of Yahweh, Hashem Yahushua, you know, following order, keeping commandments, you know, keeping the commandments, right? And these are the nations they can't. Stop, okay, one second. What was that? It's fucking spiders everywhere. So he gave that to his chosen people, right? First Peter. First Peter. First Peter chapter two, verse nine. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that ye should that ye should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous marvelous light okay a, a, a priesthood okay a royal people a royal priesthood a holy nation a, a peculiar people okay we're the apple of the lord's eye you understand so it was only given on to us it wasn't given to these other people and that's how the lord looks at us okay let me get another scripture here. Um, um, oh yeah, Amos chapter three. And one, hear the word that Yahweh have spoken against you. O children of Israel, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Okay, so we're the only ones that the Lord put these law, statutes, commandments for, to do them, to listen, to walk in those, you know, walk in that stead. That's why when you go back to First Peter, you know, we fell away from that, from going off, going seeking these other uh, gods, seeking these other nations' gods, okay? So going back, but ye are a chosen generation, verse 9, First Peter 2 and 9, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the, praise, the, the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into into his light into his marvelous light which in time past were not a people but are are now the people of God which had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy and that's through Yahweh that's through Yahweh Shai okay Yahweh Shai came and did you know he, he was scorched for our iniquities okay but it says that you know, we're, oh yeah, Jeremiah chapter, uh, Jeremiah chapter 17 tells you that thou, even thou shalt discontinue from thy heritage. And Hosea chapter one, uh, 10, uh, 1 and 10 tells you that, you know, the Lord is going to, uh, you know what, let me get that real quick too. Hosea 1 and 10, yet the, the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot cannot be measured 
nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. Okay? So that's only his people. Okay? So Lord had that mercy on us in this time where, you know, the, the shedding of Yahushua's blood, okay, and following in his paths, being in his body, okay, being and him being the head of the church and him being the head of the body, okay, the elect are going to obtain that because it says that all all that iniquity and all the sins will be blotted out, okay, and you, you will be presented as a... a, a, a you know, when, when somebody comes to a party and one individual comes in with some roses, but the roses ain't all that, you know, then another individual comes in with some other roses and they just, you know, blameless, spotless, you know, and that's how you want to be presented before Yahweh, okay, through Yahweh Shai. So going into this, um, let's jump back into some scriptures here, okay. Um, <sighs> Psalms chapter 2 Let's go to Psalm chapter 2 And this might be a long video But hey Psalms chapter 2 And verse uh, 10 Be wise Be wise now therefore Be wise now Therefore O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. And who's that? That's that's a position for who? The Israelites. That's not a position for the rest of these people in the world. That's a position only for Israel. Okay? So, going into this. Um, let's get a scripture in uh, 1 Corinthians. Chapter 6. And starting from verse 2. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 2. Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Ye, uh, know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life, right? The Alba Shimei Oshai is, you know, sending us through these chasten, chastening us, you know, melting all that dross off of us, giving us instruction, you know, giving us the wisdom, and knowledge. So, you know, you go through all these uh, atrocities, you go through all this uh, bullshit here, right? If you can't suffer it here, how can you uh, rule right? Right, you have to rule with balance. You can't rule biasly, okay? Because this motherfucker pissed you off, or that motherfucker pissed you off, you know. And the angels, Revelation chapter uh, nineteen and ten, okay. Those are our brothers, okay. Remember, you you too yourself are an angel, but you fell from grace. We fell from grace. Jude, one and uh, one and six, okay. The angels that left their uh, first estate. All right. Um, so going into this, Wisdom of Solomon. Let's get that too. I try not to make this long, but, you know, hey, the spirit leadeth, you know. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 101. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of, think of the Lord with a good heart. Okay, La'ab, and in simplicity of heart, seek him. Okay, so main point, uh, love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Okay, so that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to love righteousness. You're a judge. Okay, and in this situation that we're in, you know, this hell that we're in, we're being refined, we're being chastened. Okay. Because why? We're, we're, we're the judges. We're the true judges. We're the true rulers. We're the true kings. 
starting with Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai, King David, you know, the elect, and on down, okay? <coughs> so let's get into something real quick as well, too. <coughs> so, yeah. Revelation 5 and 10. Uh, really, you start up, but um, start up from eight or even more. But I just want to hit the point. It has made us unto our power, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. Okay, we're not gonna be reigning in some different dimension or some kind of like, you know, you know how they try to play this, uh, you know, when they tell you about heaven and all this stuff, you know, they try. To they they truly butcher things, man. They put 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 these uh, images in your head, these thoughts in your head, you know. That basically is demons, you know. Brings you confusion, pure confusion. Okay. But the 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 true judges, okay. The true kings, true rulers. From Yahweh Shem Yahushai, do we able to see through that crap? Okay. Um, let's go into this real quick. What was this? Um, Sirach chapter 10 and verse uh, 4. The power of the earth is in the hand. The, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. Right? Because they don't rule with balance. They're, they're unworthy rulers. Besides, the scriptures tell you that he's a base man, the lowest of the low. Okay, verse in verse eight. Uh, because of unrighteous dealings and injuries and riches gotten by deceit, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another, and that's gonna be you know us. We're gonna get the uh, kingdom. Okay, not these other nations, not these other people, because we're the true judges, we're the true rulers. Okay. And as a matter of fact, let's go to something real quick. It tells you that every tongue that try to rise against us, we shall condemn. Okay. Isaiah chapter 54, and verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, meaning the servants of Yahweh Shem Shai, which is, like I said, you know, that, that order, okay? Uh, the Israelites, okay? And the righteousness is of me, saith Yahweh. Right. We were, we were uh, given innately, you know, when you're born with something, that was uh, the gift to Israel. Okay, all these opportunities, let's just say it like that, within this world. And I'm talking not this world, this grimy shithole. I'm talking about what we're going to get, what the Lord is going to reward us as his people. Okay. These other nations, they're off. They can't judge. Okay. Their mind is not right. Okay. And all of us. We, we're going to be in the same mindset, okay? We're not going to be going off. We're not going to be, uh, as they say, perverted in judgment. We're going to we're gonna judge the world righteously, okay? Because his righteousness is with us, okay? Psalms chapter 9 and verse 8. And he shall judge the world in righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness, okay? So if... If that, if the Lord, if Yahweh Yahushua is going to do that, and we're his people, also we're going to be doing that, okay? Like I said, we're not going to be going off. We're going to be on the same mind accord. And even this scripture right here sets things right. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet he himself is judging no man. For who have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him. But we have the mind of Hamashiach, okay? So, balance. We realize there's balance of things, okay? We realize in judgment you can't be biased, 
you know you have to execute it properly okay so that's why we're being geared up okay and we have to have the uh, same mindset okay to be those uh, righteous rulers okay and who's gonna have that mindset obviously Israel but before that you know the the, the elect okay uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 and verse 6 as gold as gold in the furnace have you tried them see so you're being refined you're getting that dross you're gonna come into the you know mindset where you can pass judgment righteously without any you know worldly influence okay as gold in the furnace have you tried them and received them as a burnt offering okay and in the time of their visitation they shall sh they shall sh they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubble they shall judge the nation see and have dominion over the people and their lord shall reign forever they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is to his saints and he careth for his elect okay so the elect you know, like I said, that um, order, okay, you know, we're going to be judging these people, we're going to judge these nations, okay, and in Syrac, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I already zoomed past it, but Syrac tells you a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered, okay, so if you want order in your system, you got to be a well ordered man, you got to be a prudent man. You got to be a disciplined man. You got to be a man of balance. Okay? Proverbs chapter 11 and 1 of false balance is an abomination to the Lord, man. So be, you got to be just. Okay? You got to be that well balanced. Okay? So going back into this, and that's why you see these things were given on to us. They weren't given to these other nations. Okay? We're going to judge. We're going we're, we're gonna to judge the nations and rule over them. But you're not gonna you're not gonna get to that stage, you know. But till we go through this process, you know. Um, let's go to Hebrews. Hebrews. Yeah, let's go to this. All right, Hebrews chapter ten and sixteen, and this is the covenant that I will make with them. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws in their in their heart, law of their mind, okay, and in their minds, and write them, and Slakia, and in their minds will I write them, and their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Remember, I was telling you, through the through the blood of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, is elect, okay, but when the kingdom is established showing you every Israelite you know will know how to have proper judgment through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai we won't go off ever again okay we won't go off again ever okay that's why uh you know uh first uh, Peter 2 and 9 says what it says okay that we're a royal priesthood All right, let me get it Instead of butchering it, it's not here. Yeah. Two and nine. And there's another scripture I want to jump to before I get there. Let's go to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Boy, it's fucking hot out here, man. This Canada's getting burnt up as well, too. Deuteronomy chapter four. Uh, start from five to eight. Okay. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as Yahweh my power commanded me, that ye should do so in the land where they go to possess it. Keep, 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 therefore, and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight 
of the nations which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding, understanding people. For what nation is this so great, who have God so nigh unto them, as Yahweh our power is in all things that we call upon him for? And what nation is this so great that have statutes and judgments so righteous as all this law? as all this law which I set before you this day right okay all these other nations look upon and did you know and be like hey man these, look 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 at these people man this is a great nation remember Psalms 144 and verse uh, 15 happy is that people as in such a case yea happy is that people whose power is Yahweh we're that people, okay? We should be happy, all right? But you got two-thirds, knuckle-draggers, you know, we have to go through what we have to go through, the curses, you know, to appreciate what we're going to get, which is ruling over all these people, okay? That's why it says what it says, First Peter. Uh, First Peter chapter 2 and 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Okay? Bottom line. <laughs> That's why it says what it says. Now, let's go into, uh, I want to get some real quick. You know, you got to use wisdom in this world here. Okay? And that was only given on to us. We'll get two, 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 uh, two, uh, scriptures here. Matthew chapter 10. Is that Matthew chapter 10, 16? Okay. And Philippians. Um. Philippians. No, it's not even. No, no, that's where we continue. Let's just walk by the same things. No, it's. Um, oh, Slack here. Two. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 and verse uh, 13 for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasures do all things without murmuring and disputing that ye may be blameless and harmless the sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom among whom ye shine as lights in the world. Going back to uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4, okay? Going back to First Peter chapter 2, okay? And 9, that royal priesthood, okay? That holy nation, that peculiar people, okay? And we, we have, we shine as lights. We're the beacon of the world, like I said, okay? We're the example of the world. How world, how how people are supposed to be, you know, uh, living, you know, throughout the whole universe. Okay. We're that prime example, but we went off. Okay. So, wrapping it up, you know, using wisdom, Isaiah chapter thirty-three and verse six, okay, which is only given to Israelites, okay. We got we got to walk through this place, as it says, do all things without murmuring and disputing, okay? That you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God, with their rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world, okay? But anyways, um, Matthew chapter, it's like, yeah.
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull the blue light down. We got it great. Yeah, then, yep. Um, just finishing off that verse, but um, uh, yeah, here it is. Matthew chapter ten and verse sixteen. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Okay, so you know, using this truth, Isaiah chapter um, Isaiah chapter um, what you call it, thirty three, and verse uh, six tells you that you know that knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. If I'm not mistaken, okay, actually let's let's go there. Yeah, man, that's about it for the video, you know. Yep, Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of thy salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yep, all praise all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Right, we're the only nation that shall judge these other nations, you know, and have dominion over them, and rule over them, okay. What does it tell us in um, Revelation? Yep, and she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Okay, going into Yahweh Shai, but Yahweh Shai, he's going to be, you know, starting. With the Awashai, when you go back into um, Revelation and also Psalms chapter 2, you know, he's going to be ruling over them. Yeah, it, well, it starts with Yahweh, why Yahweh King David, the 144, you know, the order, okay? But who's going to be there with him, you know, ruling these, uh, ruling over these nations as well? us, the Israelites, the 144, we're going to be there with Yahweh Shai ruling over. Yo, move your fucking lights out of people's face, you fucking cocksucker. Fuck you, piece of shit. God damn, man. Anyways, we're going to be ruling with Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, okay? So, yeah, with that, Malcolm, you know, we're being refined, we're being tried, we're being put through pressures, we're being, you know, tested. Burning off the dross, you know. So with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Baal Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Hashem, Rakak Kodash. Double honor to the apostles, elders of great millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim doing and pushing his word, and all truth and sincerity. Shalom, Wa Abad Matthew chapter 24 and 13 to you all. Shalom.